Hello guys, my name is Pius Katsis and today we're going to see how we can add a dashboard on top of Hangfire. Now this video is not about the uh, Hangfire features, I can uh, make uh, one about that, but we will focus on the dashboard. So let me show you what I have here. I have uh, added uh, the Hangfire SP.NET Core, Hangfire Core and the Hangfire SQL, SQL Server Nugget packages. And uh, I have a newsletter background service in which uh, let's imagine that we have um, a background service that we want uh, every night or every 12 hours or whatever to send uh, a newsletter email to our customers. And I have a controller, a customer controller in which I have um, a post, let me make that HTTP a post, uh, and a post action in which we create a customer and we want to send a welcome email to that customer but we want to do that asynchronously. We could have a we could publish an event to another service, but in this example we use a uh, Hangfire. So what uh, that line will do is that we'll enqueue an action and uh, in our case it's uh, the send welcome email action coming from our email service and it will return the response to the customer without waiting that the send welcome email method uh, to finish. So how Hangfire does that? Well, it creates a database. Uh, you give it a connection string and it creates a database. So uh, on the background, asynchronously runs these NQ jobs. So that's uh, how we can NQ jobs. And in here I have my recurring job, which is the newsletter background service. So all I did is uh, set recurring jobs that are updated, specify the, the type of the background service. Now for the name of the recurring job I just uh, put the name of the newsletter background service and the task uh, and the method uh, I want to run on the background is the run async method. Let me go, it's just an empty method. Let's imagine that it sends some newsletter or I don't know, something like that. And uh, I set it to run every minute so we can uh, see it. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going in my middleware configuration and I'm going to say app dot use hang fire dashboard and now i need to specify the route of that let's say hang fire and uh, we can pass some options as well so i'm going to say new dashboard options and we can uh, specify a lot of things in here let's say for example we want the dashboard title to be i don't know my dashboard So if I run that now, it will go the first time and create all the tables needed um, in the database. So if I go and navigate to hang fire, we can see we have our dashboard. We have a lot of information here. For example, I have my recurring jobs and that's the newsletter background service. And we can trigger it manually now if we want. We can delete that. And let me also make a post request to that customer's endpoint. So we get back that OK uh, immediately. Uh, although our email service has a five uh, seconds delay. And uh, we also have a new exception so we can see what will happen then. So what we did now is we send the response back to the user and then when we try um, to trigger uh, on the to trigger on the background that the send welcome mail service, we had an exception. So if I go to my dashboard we have uh, a job, a scheduled job, which is the send welcome email and we can see the retries because uh, Hangfire by default will try 10 times to execute uh, that job. As you can see, retry up them 2 of 10 and we also have our system exceptions thrown, so we have everything we need. We can again uh, enqueue that job uh, manually if we want or we can delete that. And there are a lot of other options uh, you can uh, experiment with here. So you can see everything about uh, your NQ jobs or uh, your recurring jobs and uh, if they failed and what's wrong with them and their retries, etc. in that uh, beautiful dashboard. Now you may ask, okay, so anyone uh, with that link uh, can go and see our recurring jobs are retries, delete and mess with our application? Well, obviously, of course not. We have... Um, the option to, to authorize the dashboard so I can say authorization 
and I'm going to pass a new array of uh, filters. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a new class. I will call that uh, hang fire auth filter. So hang fire auth filter like that. And I'm going to say that it implements the i dashboard authorization filter. And as you can see, we have um, one method to implement is a public bool authorize method. And in here we can return true if the user is authorized and false otherwise. So we have access to the dashboard context. And from there we can access the HTTP context. So we can say var HTTP context equals with uh, context dot get HTTP context. So we can check if the user is authenticated. So we can say if um, HTTP context dot uh, user dot identity dot is authenticated or we can check for or we can check uh, for his roles if he's an admin etc so that way we can let's return true so that we'll compile so that's uh, how we can add authentication now we can use that filter so we can say new hang fire of filter and now every time we try we try to access that uh, hangfire URL, uh, that uh, filter will be triggered and it will decide if uh, the user has access or not to our hangfire dashboard. So that was it. Uh, we, you can add it uh, yourself and see all the options available. I just wanted uh, to show you how easy and quick it is to set up uh, the dashboard. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice one.